and your experience do different cultures or different countries have different attitudes when it comes to fountain pens or writing implements in general? I mean, sure, just like every culture has different perspectives on cars or clothing or food or whatever, um, there's going to be different cultures that influence um, how people write things down. There's no question about that. Um, my experience in the fountain pen world, at least, and has been mainly in two areas. It has been either from like manufacturers, like the people that are actually making the products and, and the culture and how that influences the design of the products. Um, and then social media, because we ship all over the world and we're on social media, so anyone with an internet connection can get involved in our stuff. We're a little bit skewed there because we only speak English on our team. So most of the countries who were, who were interacting with online, it's gonna be heavily influenced by kind of the English speaking culture. Um, so we're gonna be missing some of the perspective of countries where English is not the predominant language or at least even a predominant secondary or tertiary language. Um, so the ones that I've found um, uh, in terms of manufacturers of where they tend to settle is, uh, you know, the manufacturers and suppliers tend to be more concentrated in areas where fountain pens are more a part of their culture. You know, places like Italy, Japan, Germany, France, China, India, Taiwan, uh, the UK, those, those are still have fountain pens more in their culture, or at least in their recent uh, memory of their culture. Uh, so that's, that's where more of the manufacturers are going to be coming from. Um, but uh, social media is, you know, kind of all over the place. In some countries, um, you know, writing is more rooted in the culture, um, and it's more of a tradition. There's a romance, there's a craftsmanship related to that, especially those countries where the manufacturing is coming from. Um, other country, it's purely just kind of utility and function. So, um, you know, others like in the U.S., it's a little more like curiosity or status or a niche, kind of a hobby kind of thing. So it's, it's just interesting to see. Um, I don't want to make like broad generalizations about a given country or a given region, but um, no matter what country, you know, everyone's facing changes in the utility of writing instruments and uh, the change of technology and how that's affecting not just fountain pens, but really all writing implements, since you kind of pose the question that way. Um, so there's kind of global shifts happening in the world of writing in general that's sure to have a lasting impact uh, on just society in general. But, um, you know, I found that, um, you know, pure utility driven interest is going down for the most part. Just, you know, people who just need a stick to write things down. You know, they don't look at a pen any more than this is an implement to accomplish a task. You know, there's no, there's no desire or draw to actually using that. It's purely just to accomplish a purpose. That I think is going down thanks to things like texting and video and voice and, and you know, more automated means of communication. Um, but other niches like fountain pens are actually seeing an increase because it's very passion driven. There's social media and, and sharing and education like this kind of thing has actually helped to kind of drive that up a little bit. So it is interesting to see, and especially just coming off my trip to Italy, like seeing places like Florence where, you know, it's such an influence of the Renaissance and there's deep history there of buildings that are 500, 700, 1000 years old uh, are just around everywhere. And here in the US, it's like, we're lucky if we have a building that's 150 years old, you know, and um, just an interesting perspective that there is having such rich history, but also such rapid technology change and how that's maybe impacting things. So it's, it's going to impact every culture a little bit differently. Uh, but it is it is certainly something that's interesting and I'm keeping my eye on it. Um, but the thing that I've always loved about the fountain pen community in general is it's not been completely regional specific. It's really been, because of the internet, it's allowed anybody who's had kind of a general interest in writing or in pens to have access to materials or access to education or knowledge or a community online, whereas, you know, it wouldn't have been an option, you know, if you don't live in an area where there's a stationary store in every corner, you know, how else would you get exposed to the pens and how else would you be able to dive into your passion like this? Uh, other than what technology is provided. So it's very much this yin and yang kind of controversy thing going on, um, you know, paradox, uh, pulling on both ends with the f technology and, and fountain pens. But uh, I've always loved kind of walking that line. I find it to be one of the most interesting things about uh, this, this hobby and this point in time where we are with it.